everyone, I'm Caroline. Welcome to Whole Yoga with Caroline. I'm here at Brooklyn Bridge Park, and as you can see, it's getting a little dark out and a little cold out, but I really wanted to bring you this um, beautiful 30-minute flow from this gorgeous location in Brooklyn. Uh, this is a 30-minute flow, and it's a constant flow. So we're constantly moving, um, and I really just want to encourage you to stay present, to keep breathing, to not get frustrated. If you feel tired, you can always take child's pose. Um, but the verse, the intention for our practice today is Psalm 23, verse 1. And it says this, the Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. So let's keep that in mind as we come to our mat today and just move and breathe in his presence. I'm so glad that you're here. Let's do some yoga. With your arms by your side, close your eyes and just begin to notice how your body's feeling. Stop sucking in your belly, stop sticking your chest out. Roll your shoulders up to your ears and then down your spine with a big inhale, exhale. And just begin to draw your presence to your mat, to this moment. Feel all four corners of your feet root down deep into the earth. Feel your kneecaps lift as you engage your quads. But don't lock your knees here. See if you can find a softness in your knees. Really think about spiraling your thighs into the middle, into the center line of your body as you tuck your tailbone down to the earth. It really engage your core here. Feel your nibs, your ribs knit together. Once again, draw those shoulders away from your ears. Draw your ears over your shoulders and tuck your chin in just a little bit. And breathe deeply into this active, strong pose. So this feeling here of being fully engaged, of fully in line, this is something that we want to carry with us into our practice. So even as we are in, in constant motion and movement as we practice, we hold on to these principles of alignment. I'm going to pray, and then let's jump in. Father God, thank you so much for your presence right here in this moment. Thank you that we don't have to go far to look for you, but you are here right now. God, open our eyes to that. Draw our attention to that. Help us to know your presence. Help us to see your face. Help us to hear your voice. Help us to quiet our hearts, God, and be changed through this practice. Amen. Sweep your arms up over your head, bringing your palms to touch, then draw them down to your heart. Once again, sweep them over your head. This time, lower your right arm down. Stretch your left arm up and over. Good. Moving forward, moving backwards, finding where it's tight and breathing into that space. Good. Come back up to center. This time, lower your left arm down. Lift your right arm up and over. Stretching long through that right side body here. Good. Coming back to center, sweep both arms up over your head and then dive down, bending your knees here, coming into a forward fold. It's okay if your fingertips don't touch your toes or the mat. They can rest on your shins or your thighs. But bend your knees here as much as you need to so you feel your low belly connect to your thighs. Good. Place your right hand on your shin or on your mat and bend your right knee, stretching your left arm up towards the sky. Feeling a nice, gentle twist on your spine here. Switching sides, let's plant our left hand on our shin or on the mat. Bending our left knee and stretching our right arm up towards the heavens. Beautiful. Come back to center. Place both hands on the mat. Step one foot back and then the other, coming into your plank pose. Shoulders stacked over your wrists. Your thighs spiraling in, your tailbone still tucking, your shoulders drawing away from your ears. Engage through your feet here. Strong, strong pose. Good. Let's begin to lift our hips, press the mat away from us, and roll back to downward facing dog. One big inhale here, and on an exhale, let's roll right back forward to plank pose. Inhale and plank. Exhale, press back to downward facing dog. Inhale and down dog. Exhale, roll forward to plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale, press back to down dog. Beautiful. Lift your left leg high. Really press through that left foot so your toes are actively engaged here. 
Bend your knee here and stack your hips, opening up along the left side of your body. Beautiful. Come back to center. Take that left knee. Come forward and see if you can tap that knee to your left elbow. Beautiful. Draw back. Open your hip again. Good. Come back to center. Take that left knee. Cross it over your body. See if you can tap your right elbow with it. Beautiful. Press back. Open your hip. Come back to center. Take that left knee and tuck it in, rounding your back. See if you can touch your knee to your nose here. Breathing as we do this. Good. Press back. Open your hip again. Come back to center. Take that left leg and step your foot in between your hands, lowering your right knee down to the mat, coming into a low lunge. You can keep your fingertips on the mat here or you can crawl them up onto your left thigh. Breathing into this low lunge, sinking into that hip here. Good. Let's straighten that left leg, bringing your hips back, coming into a half split. Feeling a stretch all along your calf here. Good. Come back, bend that left knee, sinking into a low lunge. And then straighten that left leg, coming back to your half splits. One more time, breathing into this gentle movement, coming forward to a low lunge. And then pressing back to your half splits. Gorgeous. Bend that knee. Come forward to a low lunge. Place your hands on the mat. Lift your right knee. Step your left leg back to meet your right, coming into a plank pose. And then roll back to downward facing dog. This time, let's lift our right leg high up to the sky. Again, really pressing through that back right foot as if you were going to stamp it onto the wall behind you. Bend your knee, open your hip, feeling this beautiful open stretch all along the right side of your body, but keep rooting down through that right hand. Gorgeous. Keeping that right knee bent, let's come back to center and bring that right knee over to your right elbow, seeing if you can tap knee to elbow. Good. Draw back. Open your hip. Come back to center. Take that right knee, cross it over your body, twisting it here, seeing if you can touch your knee to your left elbow. Good. Draw back. Open your hip. And then take that knee, draw it to the center line of your body, rounding your back here, seeing if you can touch your knee to your nose. Breathing here. Press back again. Open that hip here, really breathing into that stretch and that openness. And then take that right leg, step your foot between your hands, lower your left knee down to the mat, coming into a low lunge on this side. Sinking those hips forward. Drawing that tailbone down to the mat. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. And then straighten that right leg, drawing your hips back, coming into a half split on this right side. Good. Come back to your low lunge. And then press back to a half split. Come forward into a low lunge. Press back to your half splits. And one more time, just warming our body up here. Come forward to a low lunge. Press back to a half splits. Come forward one more time. This time, place your hand on the mat. Lift your left knee. Step your right foot back to meet your left, coming into plank pose. And then lift your hips. Press them back, coming into your downward facing dog. Pedaling your heels out here. Breathing into this open space that we're making in our body. Beautiful. Lift that right leg back up to the ceiling this time. And then step it forward in between your hands, spiraling your left foot back so it's parallel to the back edge of your mat, rising up into your warrior two here. Beautiful. Bending into that right knee deeply so your knee is stacked over your ankle. It's not, it's not shooting out in front of it. Pressing into the back edge of that left foot so you feel this openness and this lift along the inner left thigh. Beautiful. Flip your palms up. Reach up to heaven and then reach back behind you, reversing your warrior. Gorgeous. Coming back to center, place that right elbow on your right knee. Stretch your left arm up and over your ear, coming into a beautiful long side angle pose. Gorgeous. Back up to center. Reverse your warrior one more time, feeling the stretch along the front right side of your body. And then back to center, coming to warrior two. Good. Let's turn our toes over to the left side of our mat, straightening both legs here, reaching our arms up overhead, and then just taking the same sequence of poses over to the left side. So pivot your left toes straight out in front of you, your right 
leg is, sorry, your right foot is parallel to the back edge of your mat and you're sinking into the left knee here. Warrior two on the left side. Flip your palms, reverse your warrior, your right arm reaching down the thigh of your right leg, your left arm up and over. Gorgeous. Coming back to center, place that left elbow on your left knee, reaching your right arm up and stretching over long to the left side of your body. Really press down into the outside edge of that right foot here. Gorgeous. Come back to center, reverse your warrior again with a big inhale here. And then come back to center, landing in warrior two with strength, with breath, fueling all of our movements here. Gorgeous. Pivot your toes back over to the right side of your mat here, coming to a wide-legged forward fold. So on an inhale, I want you to lengthen your spine and then fold forward here. Your hands can come to your shins. Your hands can come to the mat. And you don't have to stay static here. You can move a little bit from side to side as it feels good, finding what your body needs in this practice because it might be different from what your body needed yesterday, and I know it's going to be different from what your body needs tomorrow. Place your right fingertips on the mat and place your left hand on your hip, twisting your heart towards heaven. But let's be careful not to let our left hip pop up here, but really think about trying to keep your hips square and even. So the twist is originating in the upper part of our spine and not from our hips. Gorgeous. Come back to center. Switch sides. Placing your left fingertips on the mat, your right hand on your hip, twisting your heart towards heaven, rooting that right hip in. So our hips are square to the mat. Breathing into this twist here. So beautiful. Release. Come back to center. And let's walk our hands over to our right leg, coming to the ball of our left foot. Step your left foot to meet your right and just hang here gently in forward fold. Maybe you grab opposite elbows and just sway very gently from side to side. Letting your head and neck just go here. Beautiful. Let's root down into all four corners of our feet and rise all the way up to standing, lifting our arms up overhead, bringing our palms to touch, and then drawing them down to our heart. Beautiful. Let's bring our right knee into our chest here, hugging it in. And then release your hands. See if you can straighten that right leg out. Really engage through those toes. Point them up towards heaven. Gorgeous. And then just like a pendulum with strength and control, we're going to begin to lengthen our body forward but while stretching that right leg back, coming into a warrior three pose. Your hands can come to your hips. They can come to your heart or they can stretch out in front of you, really lengthening your pendulum here. Strength and balance control. You can do this. Use your breath to guide you. Gorgeous. Place your right hand down on the mat and bring your left fingertips, sorry, put your right hand on your hip and let's bring our left fingertips to the mat and we're going to open up to half moon here. So just like we did in beginning with our downward facing dogs, we're going to stack our hips gorgeous. We're going to stack our shoulders as if our body was coming between two panes of glass here. Really lengthen that right leg out behind you. The more that you send your strength there, the easier it's going to be to find lift and balance here. Gorgeous. And then really strengthen that right leg. Stretch it back to the back end of your mat. Slowly lower it down, landing in a warrior two pose here. So uh, rising our arms up, stretching our fingertips out wide here, bending into that left knee. Beautiful. Flip your palms. Reverse your warrior. And then let's windmill them down, placing them on either side of that left foot, stepping that left foot back to meet our right, coming to plank pose, and then press back to downward facing dog, taking some deep, nourishing breaths here. Beautiful job. Look to your fingertips and walk your feet up to meet them, hanging once again in forward, forward fold. Maybe you grab opposite elbows this time. And sway gently from side to side if that feels good. Once again, we're going to root down to rise all the way up. Arms overhead, palms to touch. Draw them down to your heart. This time, let's really root down through our right foot and draw our left knee into our chest. Squeezing it in here. And then releasing that left leg, but keeping it lifted, begin to straighten that left leg out in front of you. Really opening your toes here, opening that front foot. 
Beautiful. And then begin just like a pendulum to tilt forward, stretching that left leg long behind you, coming into warrior three on this other side. Once again, your hands can come to your hips or to your heart or stretch out in front of you. But just like we did in, f- in that wide-legged forward fold earlier, can we think about keeping our hips square here? So both of, them, both of our hip points are pointing down towards the mat. One hip isn't popping up over the other. Gorgeous. And then placing our left hand on our hip, our right fingertips on the mat, let's open this up to a half moon pose here. So our hips are stacked and we're open all through the, our, our side body here. Stacking your shoulders here. Breathing here. You can do this. So gorgeous. Really lengthen that left leg back with strength and control. Begin to lower it down to the mat. Bending your right knee, rising up into warrior two on this right side. Flip your palms, reverse your warrior right arm up and over. Left hand coming down that left thigh. So beautiful. And then let's flow one more time. Place those hands on the mat, framing your right foot. Step your right foot back to meet your left, coming into plank pose, and then press back to downward facing dog. Beautiful, deep breaths here. Let's lower our forearms down onto the mat, coming into dolphin pose here. Opening between our shoulder blades while we draw our shoulders away from our ears so we're not crunching in our neck here. Gorgeous. Let's walk our feet back, coming into a forearm plank. And then let's walk those feet a few more inches forward, coming back to dolphin pose. Not forgetting to breathe here. So beautiful. Walk those feet back to your plank pose once again. And then rooting down into that right forearm, let's roll open to a side forearm plank on this right side. You can lower your right knee here if you'd like to help find a bit more stability. But take that left arm and reach it up and over your left ear. So beautiful. Coming back to center, place your left forearm on the mat. And we're just going to roll right over to the left side. You can bring your left knee down to the mat if you like. But take that right arm and stretch it up to heaven. And then reach it over your right ear. Finding this beautiful line of energy all the way from your right fingertips to the outside edge of that right foot. Gorgeous. Come back to center. Place that right forearm back down on the mat. And let's lower our knees, our hips, our belly, coming all the way down to our stomach here. We can take our hands on our arms and stretch them alongside of our body, placing our right cheek down onto the mat. Taking some deep breaths here. Maybe you close your eyes and tune out any distractions. Coming back to your breath. Coming back to your body. Coming back to the presence of God. Beautiful. Let's turn our chin to the center. We're going to do a couple of locust poses here to really work on strengthening our back body. We're so front body heavy in our exercises and and even in our day-to-day lives. Well, our our back body sort of gets neglected. So we're going to do some strengthening poses here. On an inhale here, I want you to begin to lift your feet, your arms, your legs, your shoulders up off the mat, peeling your heart off the mat here. So there's this beautiful line of energy from the crown of your head all the way to your toes. It's to use the strength of your back and not the strength of your glutes by tightening your butt together, but the strength of your core and of your back to lift yourself one inch higher. And then let's lower all the way down, this time placing your left cheek onto the mat. Deep breathing here. Good. Let's do this again. Draw your chin back to the center. And on an inhale, let's lift our arms and our legs, peeling our heart up off the mat. See if you can lift your knees off the mat. Maybe even the lower part of your thigh begins to peel off the mat. Really engaging through your toes there so all of your body here is active. There's fire in your belly that's lifting you one inch higher. And then on an exhale, lower down, place the right cheek of your face back onto the mat. Beautiful. We're going to take this into a gentle back bend here, coming into bow pose. So what I want you to do is begin to bend your knees, draw your heels towards your butt. And I want you to begin to reach back with your hands and see if you can grab the ankles or the um, outside edges of your feet here. 
So we're opening across our, sh our shoulders. Our shoulders aren't collapsing forward here, but there's an opening happening across our shoulders. And on a big inhale, I want you to begin to lift your knees off the mat, pressing your feet into your hands, peel your heart up off the mat, coming into this gentle back bend as you press your hands into your feet, draw your shoulders up and back. Lifting your knees up off the mat, breathing here, breathing into this beautiful back bend, this beautiful heart opening pose. Good. Can you lift one more inch? And then on an exhale, slowly begin to release it all down to the mat, placing your left cheek onto the mat this time and just surrendering to the ground here, letting it all go. Beautiful. We just did a lot of back work. So let's let's take a pose that's going to sort of counteract that and neutralize our spine here. So um, bring your palms under your shoulders. Bend your knees. Press back to a child's pose. And then I want you to take your hands, wrap them around your back, and see if you can grab onto your heels. And on an inhale, what we're going to do is we're going to begin to lift our hips here. Lift our thighs off of our shins, begin to roll forward, so we're rounding our spine here, coming into what's called a rabbit pose, and you should feel this beautiful opening and stretch all along your low back, all along your entire spine, even between your shoulder blades here. Be super gentle on your neck, so we're not crunching our head into the mat here, but we're gently resting on the top of our head as we use the strength of our core to lift our hips higher and feel this beautiful rounding, this beautiful stretch, this beautiful release. Gorgeous, slowly begin to release this pose. Stretch your arms back out in front of you again, coming into child's pose. Good, we're gonna just take a, a beautiful shoulder stretch here. So lift your right hand up, thread it underneath your left arm, roll onto the outside edge of that right shoulder here, feeling just this yummy, yummy stretch in between your shoulder blades. You can take your left fingertips and crawl them to the opposite corner of your mat if that helps you find a little bit more depth. And you can lift your hips here a little bit if that helps you find a little more depth. Just explore this movement and find what feels good for your body. Don't forget to breathe into this new space that we're creating. Good. Slowly begin to come back to center and place your right hand on the mat and switch sides, bringing your left arm underneath your right, rolling to the outside edge of that left shoulder blade. Opening across your upper back here. Taking those right fingertips, maybe crawling them over to the left corner of your mat. So good. Come back to center. Place both hands on the mat and press back to child's pose again here. Taking one deep inhale and long deep exhale. Good. Crawl your hands up just enough to be able to swing your hips down onto the mat. Take those feet out in front of you and let's lower all the way down to our backs. Hugging your knees into your chest as you do so. Rolling around gently on your low spine here giving your back a little bit more release here on your mat. We're going to take our right ankle now and cross it over our left thigh, coming into a, um, a pigeon variation on our backs here. You can take your right arm and thread it underneath that right leg, grabbing to the, the inner edge, sorry, the, the underside of that left thigh, or you can grab onto your left shin. But I want you to really stay engaged through your right foot here. It's going to help you protect your knee. So press that right knee away from you as you hug that left thigh closer to your face. Relaxing your jaw, relaxing your neck and your shoulders. Breathing into these tight spaces here. Psalm 23, one of my favorite psalms, the very first verse says this, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. So often we come to our mats feeling starved, starved of time, starved of energy, starved of joy, starved of vision. 
But the very first verse of the Psalm of David says, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Okay, let's switch sides, releasing that right leg, crossing your left ankle over your right thigh. Once again, drawing that left hand underneath the thigh here and grabbing there or grabbing onto your shin. Pressing the left knee away from your face. Engaging your right toes. Drawing that right thigh closer to your face. Breathing into the space here. The Lord is our shepherd means that the Lord is our provider. The Lord is the one who guides us, who protects us, who comforts us, who goes after us and seeks us out while we're lost. We have nothing to fear because He is our shepherd. He's in control. He's not going to let us go. The Bible says that He leaves in 99 to seek out the one. The one sheep that gets lost. He's not like, oh, well, I got 99. No, He goes out after that one. Because of Him, we lack nothing. The fullness of God is ours. So friends, can I just encourage you to not walk around like children who are starving. Because in God, we lack nothing. The Bible says that He lays this feast out before us. He calls us to His banqueting table saying, Come, sit, eat with me. This is all for you. You don't have to earn it. You don't have to go out there and work really hard and work up an appetite. No, come and eat with me now, today. Don't leave my presence in lack. Walk around in fullness. Good. Release that left leg. Hug your knees into your chest. And then let's take one last stretch here. So lift your, the soles of your feet up towards heaven. Stretch your arms out and grab onto the outside edges of your feet here. Really drawing your knees closer into your armpits. Opening up into what's called a happy baby pose here. Rocking from side to side if that feels good. Maybe stretching one leg and then the other leg straight if that feels good. But surrendering a little bit more in these final moments of our practice. Leaving it all on the mat so that we can step off in fullness. Not of our own strength, not our own vision, not our own nourishment, but the, the vision and the nourishment and the joy that comes only from the Lord, our shepherd. Beautiful. Release your feet. Stretch your legs out long in front of you. And let's lie all the way back down into Shavasana here. Letting your ankles go. Letting your feet splay out to the side. Releasing any tension in your hips. If you're holding anything in in your belly, stop sucking it in. Good, our shoulders melt down into the mat, releasing any tension that we're holding in our jaw, letting your tongue relax and your mouth and the space around your lips relax. No more squinting around your eyes or furrowing of your brow, but just feel it all melt away. And I want you just to lie here for a few minutes on your own in the presence of God. Feeling His love, feeling His provision, feeling His joy and delight over you. Trusting Him that He has all you need and so much more. And in Him, we lack nothing. Thank you so much for practicing with me today.